And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say how happy I am. And I'd like everyone else to please join in in welcoming Swifter Beta to the stage. Thank you, thank you. Things good? Yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah. And, um, and today we're going to be talking about, um, about the, the way that you're approaching making beats and building things from the ground up. Yeah. Um, and then we might even have a little surprise with a, with a vocal um, coming later down the road. Not from you. No. Unless, <laughs> unless you want it. No, in I, didn't, case. I don't think they want that. So, Swifter, uh, you're going to play us a tune and then we can maybe break it down a little bit? Yeah. yeah. Kids. Amazing, wicked, big up, makes a noise. Um, so I was just asking, I was just like, what, is that a sample that you put in there? And you were like, no, you made it. So can you, first of all, just go in on that? The, the well, to be honest, it wasn't really a technical way of doing it. I just literally went into Reactor and I started scrolling through some presets. Um, came across this weird, weird kind of, I don't know if it's, some weird, weird little sound. And um, literally just had to mess around with the melodies and whatnot, and I just came up with the, the actual yeah. thing here. Um, and it kind of caught my ear, and then just decided, to, decided to make the drums around it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very simple, very simple. Is that the same approach that you'll usually take to, to building beats up? Yeah, for the, for the first idea, because with Grime, it's a very simple, uh, especially instrumental, it's a very simple beat, really just enough for like, grime sets and whatnot. Um, there ain't really too much to put into it. Overcomplicating it would kind of lose the vibe for like grime sets and whatnot. And is Reactor a good a good a good a good plugin to be able to use that? Is it does it give you that diversity? Yeah, yeah, for synths. I'm not really a synth kind of person. I'll go for more live sounds with like strings, brasses, uh, choirs, pianos. But this day I was wanting to use a synth. I needed something something harsh. Yeah, dope. It's wicked. So you got a killer top line. Um, and then, and then, and then, where do you go with it next? Um, see, see, with the melody, there's like a, a low bass note. <laughs> Literally just that. Um, I just got the bass, just followed the bass. Just with. quickly on that, is that is that in the in the original sound, or have you put that into that? Have you built it in? Oh, it's in the original time? sound. Literally, that's the. Oh, can you get it on? That's the that's the whole structure of the, the cool. melody. And then I've got the bass just to follow. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Literally just to follow that, just keep the same flow going. And then uh so I sort of get to follow I follow I got some Can I just can I just quickly say that have you have you chosen to write that bass line based on the way that you come in there? Have you sort of developed it with an analogy? Yeah, just to flow with the synth. I didn't want nothing to clash, I wanted to, to flow with the track. Yeah, we could keep it simple. Yeah. And I did the same thing with um I think it's a brass. Or a tuba. Just do exactly the same thing to beef it up a little bit. So it's just more it's just more of a layering thing, just to keep it's simple, but it keeps a lot of energy in it. And have you got all of those bases, those bass elements playing at the same time? Yeah. Or, so how, or are you, how are you managing them all together? Um, simple EQing. It's cutting out a lot of low end from the tuba and the, the synth. And so the bass will cut through a little bit. Um, that's really it with that. That's, I mean, that's, you, you sound pretty casual about that, but yeah, that's, yeah, there's not really that's a big stumbling block. <laughs> yeah, to my beats, there's not really too much going on. I like to keep it simple. Enough space for vocals, yeah. especially. Wicked. Um, uh, so we've been through your main top line and your bass, and then the way that's kind of echoed 
echoed in a couple of other parts. And yeah. so what did he take to next? Um, on the second part, I, the way I had it in my head, I thought I can't have this two bar loop just constantly just doing the same thing all over and over again. So I, had, I thought I needed to add, uh, I think it was, I think this part is actually the brass or the strings maybe. The strings. Just gives it a different yeah, yeah. sound on the next part, you know what I mean? It's like the first part's a bit dark, the second part's uplifting a little bit. And, um, and then I added a brass to bring it down a little bit. So it's playing all together. So it's got, it's more like a live instrument, like orchestral. That's my kind of vibe. I like orchestral music. Um, yeah. That's it. You, you told me initially that this was a really simple tune, right? Actually, yeah. It was his first words. Um, but to be able to move the melodies in between different parts, I think, in a tune is, 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 is kind of th those little things are what you need to put into tunes, which have got yeah. quite a few, you know, very, very slimmed down, cut back amount of tracks. And um, it's amazing to be able to hear the impact that that has when it comes through from a different instrument because you're kind of, you're used to it already, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. In your yeah. Ear. Um, and so we haven't we spoken about your sort of drums at all yet. Okay, um, with my drums they're quite simple. A lot of my beats they're slow time. I don't really do skippy. Whereas grime they usually have the like two step kind of thing. Mine's more slow. I'm more I like rap music, so it's like I, I like to do the slow time kind of thing. The drums for the actual drum. See, with that, I, I like to do live drums, but I have electronic ones over overlapping yeah. um, to give it a bit more beef to it. Uh, with this this kick, I used a battery. I found the samples myself. Um, just used an 808 snare. Used a rim shot kind of thing. Another snare just to give it a bit more of an impact. Uh, more of a sampled beefed up, over compressed kick and, and another one just to layer it, just to give it a bit more of a clarity to it. And could you just play that again whilst you've got the battery up? So when, you, when you're choosing your different drum sounds and how to put them together, yeah. um, that's not a set group, you've, got, you've, cho you've chosen the Yeah, I, I, looked, I looked for them myself. Like, <clears throat> that's another thing as well, with, um, with your melodies and once you've, what, what I did with this track, I had my melody done and I thought I just needed the right drums. And for me to do that, I thought, being as the track's so simple, it needed to have hard hitting drums to keep the, keep the track going. If it had a light, light set of drums, I don't think it would have had the same impact on the drop. Yeah, well, it's certainly not light. So yeah, um, with me playing them. With the Hi-Hats, uh, I, I got them from Logic. Use them as just standard preset logic, live, live um, sounds. Um, yeah, for that, I, just, I don't really like to use too much electronic. I like live sounding music. So uh, I like to keep as much live sounds in, in the track before I start adding uh, electronic sounds over. And do you, do you play a lot of that in yourself? Um, no, I just, I'm literally drawing. I draw, use my mouse and just draw the, the pattern in with, with what I'm doing. Wicked. Um, well, look, I think that's another important thing. Like we've been speaking to a few producers today, uh, all of whom use either the pads or on a keyboard. Yeah. And um, I remember um, actually it was a Native Instruments event in Amsterdam. I went to, and Joe Goddard from Hot Chip was telling me he he does he can't play the piano. He doesn't play it at all. But he's yeah, I'm the same. Such I'm, a, I'm actually I'm so producer. whack. I'm so <laughs> whack at playing the keyboard. People need to know that though. Do you know yeah. what I mean? You need to understand that behind those beats, um, you know, it is the ears and just like. A willpower, yeah, again, yeah, just knowing what goes together and what doesn't, yeah. Simple as that. Well, listen, I think we'd love to hear what it's like with the vocals on it, if you're yeah. Okay. Black 
ski mask, but I don't ski, but I snowboard. Dash an MC off pizza. If one of you try to violate me, you get a punch in the face in my front door key. Yes. Punch in the neck with my back door key. Yes. Box in the mouth with my F6 key. Box in the eye with a fob. I used to log into my HSBC. Talk about banks. Kill him with these. Run up in your gal's house with two of my G's. Get the money out, put the money in his mouth, then suffocate man with a back two G's. Suffocate man with a back four G's. Suffocate man, then I might just breathe. I'll bury man two foot shallow. Ain't got time to dig six feet deep. MCs and rappers wanna chat about their syllables and their multis and their similes and all that shit. Then I come through with my ABC. Yeah. Girls and man are like Jamie's deep. Right. Better pictures when they see me on street. Right. Old school rude boy like crazy T. Woo. All you man don't want it with me. I'm a bad rude boy, bad boy MC. Say my name. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> Big tune. Yeah, Big thank tune. you, thank you. You know what? I, as I was listening to the track first there, and it's really interesting to listen to the two together, and the thing that really stuck out to me was the tension that you've got when uh, you've got a heavy kit in there. So yeah. just you, the tension and then the release that you've got there. Yeah, do, yeah, do, yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about now? Yeah, like the, the, way the way the drums come in and yeah. I kind of drop. Yeah. I feel like it needed to have a hard... Like the melody was kind of dark anyway. I thought it needed that hard, hard beat to drop in. But it's just such a simple change, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah, but there, like, there, ain't really much to, there ain't much to it. Kid smashed it, mate. Well, look, I think that's a great place to end it, actually. Yeah. Um, uh, big up on that oh, tune thank and you. on all the tunes you've been making, and um, good luck with everything you do. Please, everyone, I appreciate make some noise for Swift Thank you. Beat.